Once you have some patterns and audio clips, it's time to start arranging. Here we have a pattern and a sample put directly on the playlist. And if we play this out now, we'll just be looping these two bars over and over. We want to fill this empty space to create an actual song. Let's start with the basics. Last clicked. FL Studio remembers the last item you clicked. So if you want to place another one of these samples here, we can click it once, and clicking it again over here will place more. Let's do it to the pattern as well. Quick tip here. You click and drag to move, and you can hold ALT to make precise adjustments. Above the playlist you can see a big set of tools. Right now we're using the pencil tool. But we can also try the brush tool here. If you click and drag now, you place several patterns, very quickly. Let's do a very quick rundown of the other tools as well. Playback tool. Zoom tool. Select tool. Slice tool. Delete tool. The slip tool. And the mute tool. There are many ways to arrange in the playlist, and you should find your favorite workflow. I like to shift click and drag to create a copy. Control B is also useful. It duplicates and places it to the right of the duplicated one. These commands work in the piano roll as well. Now, the picker panel. This is a menu to the left of the playlist that allows you to see all of your components. If you can't see it, you can enable it in this drop down menu. Under this icon, we can see every pattern within the project while this one allows you to see all the audio clips within it. And here it's quite easy to see what we currently got selected. It's highlighted in green. This will be the one you place by left-clicking in the playlist. Looping. Bing, bing, bing. Sometimes it can be useful to listen to the same section over and over, rather than the entire song. You can mark a section by holding control and dragging on the timeline. That will be the section you loop. Control click again to remove the loop. Make unique. This is a very useful feature when arranging. Say you're working on a song with this drum pattern. And in this third one you want to have the same drums, but with some variation. If I were to make a change in this pattern, it would apply to all copies of that one within the project. This is where make unique comes in handy. Go to the upper left corner and hit make unique. It creates a copy where you can add changes to that specific one. So I'll rename this Variation. Now let's click it again and press Edit Pattern. This will open the channel rack where I'll add some extra snares to this one. And let's have a listen. The Split by Channel function. You might start a song by keeping everything in one pattern and getting a groove on. However, for arranging, you might want to have this in separate ones. So right click it and press split by channel. This splits your pattern up into its different components, creating new ones for each one. So we can easily try out an arrangement, perhaps starting with just a piano and then building up. You can also merge them back by marking them and hitting Ctrl G. Now what about organizing? FL Studio allows you to be very flexible with your project. No elements are locked to a certain row. To keep track of things, it can be helpful to do some organizing. You can rename the patterns. Add the tracks here to the left as well. Nice. And lastly, the Arrangements tab. If you want to try out a different arrangement without risking the one you already got, you can create a new empty one in the Arrangements tab. You can clone the old one or create a new empty one. How about starting the song with the melody instead? Or go back again with the Arrangements tab. However, do note that these arrangements share the same information. So if you delete a pattern entirely, you will delete it from both of them. And with that you should be all set to get to it. Start arranging, building and elongating your songs. Good luck and see you in the next one.